This video illustrates the use of Kajudo as middleware for Quartz Composer and a new paradigm for interaction with this application. The first example illustrates the manipulation of background color and text rotation. Here we see samples arranged by the level of red in the background. So we can see that the uh, Composer files are playing in each of those windows. We can make selections, you see in the green color. Then clicking new allows us to review the impact of those selections, refine them before creating a new subspace. Now we also have the opportunity to reorganize them. You can say we'll organize based on blue color in the background as opposed to red, but there is only one blue value. So then we add blue values as well as adding some X rotation values and we receive the resulting screen. So now we see the, the variation of the blue in the background and we can make selections and continue our process. Next we add the additional element of an image to our composition. In this screen we see the output organized by image. The simple addition of an image parameter has increased the total number of available options by 1000 920. This is just a hint of the combinatorial explosion that can occur when we're dealing with uh, parameters of this sort. But the Kajito middleware system provides tools to make these alternatives manageable. This next example shows texture mapping of those four images onto a sphere that's moving in space. In this example, there are 240 different combinations of image um, and sphere position. See the sphere is rotating, each with a different image, and we can see that over, get that overall impression. Here we've selected one different Y position for the sphere, so we can see that's its effect there. And we can choose then to add different Z positions, which is a subtle effect in this case. But this overall process we can narrow and expand our search space as we look for the solution that best meets our needs. In this case we're picking one position for the sphere then mapping each of the images onto that position and examining the results. We'd appreciate receiving any uh, questions or comments you may have. Please send email to hepting at cs.uregina.ca